Now we can also, at this time, while the head block is dry on there, glue the tail block on. So I've taken, excuse me, the tail block, which I recall I mentioned down to three inches by four inches by three quarters of an inch, and I've also taken on my bench sander, rounded over the inside curves just to make it look prettier, and sanded the inside down to 220 like the rest of the inside surfaces. Um, now I've taken my square and raised the blade up so it's actually um, the blade, the ruler, up uh, beyond the uh, level part here so that I can sit this on the table and have the ruler go in over top of the soundboard so I have something I can use to uh, align that to square on as we go here. Now, the other thing you might find is you might have to take to the bandsaw and notch out that uh, soundboard a bit, a bit closer to the template line in order to do that, which I have done actually. And again, we're just going to use a couple of clamps <clears throat> on this. The difference is you have to kind of jockey the clamps to get this so it'll sit squarely on the soundboard. Now, if you are, if you have run the grain like I have up and down, you're gluing an end grain surface here, which is not the greatest thing in the world, as any woodworkers know. So don't be too stingy on your glue, because it'll get sucked right up into the grain. Now, the squareness of this one is not as critical as the front one, because nothing critical bonds to this. It's going to be the shape of the back. That align it to the line we had drawn there. Same deal. Take a chisel. Where does this chisel keep walking off? There it is. <coughs> um, keep the glue squeeze out of your, out your way here. So you can see where the line is. Same thing. I'm not getting too out of whack there. Okay, seems to stabilize. Now I'm going to sit that there. Get my clamps. And you just kind of, kind of visually jockey these clamps around to try and pull the block into vertical aligned with your square. Until you get happy with it. I'm not very happy with that yet. Very good. Maybe a touch more. There we go. Again, you don't need a ton of pressure on this one. You can make sure you haven't drifted off your line there. I have it. And just clean the glue up with your chisel. I've been doing this with all the braces and stuff. I'm doing the soundboard as I went along. Try and keep the soundboard looking decent. Not too much big globs of glue inside of it. Not that it has any effect on anything, other than cosmetics, but... And the last thing you have to do on your soundboard, before we uh, get to going doing the sides, is to sign it. And uh, this is just a traditional thing, for some reason you sign the inside of your guitars. And I like to put uh, something on it, like what kind of guitar it is. This is an M1. Um, I'm going to say it was uh, signed on and the date. What is the date? It's the 9th of November, 
2004. And then I put my name. There we go. Now, years to come, 20 years from now, some uh, you give a little uh, repair guy a thrill, he'll go inside and stick a mirror in there and you'll see who made this guitar. <laughs>